What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and went on a vacation a few days ago, took my Samsung S9 phone into the pool. My phone is water resistant, but when I got out of the pool, my phone stopped working. Try to watch a YouTube video and nothing, no audio was happening. So I blew out the headphone jack like this. And then the audio started working um, when I played a YouTube video. But when I, when I made a phone call, I had no audio coming out of that earpiece right here. Now this app is only for uh, phones that are water resistant that just basically need to unclog their speaker. That's what it's called. It says unclog your speaker app. You can find it at the app store. And out of the 1100 reviews, the rating is a 4.6 out of five stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And hopefully this audio will work uh, when I make a phone call out of the earpiece. Now, if you have no audio uh, because you know because your phone thinks that the headphone jack is plugged in, you want to take a hair dryer, or you could just simply just do one of these numbers. You know, like you know, you're blowing into a Nintendo cartridge back in the '80s or NES cartridge. That usually works for me. Yeah, I highly recommend turning off the phone first, then using a hair dryer and let the hair dryer get all the moisture out of the headphone jack. But basically what the water does, it, um, the water droplet sits right there in the headphone jack and the phone thinks that there's a headphone, um, your headphones are plugged into the phone. That's why you don't hear audio because it thinks that you're, you have headphones on. Also, if your phone's not charging, you may have moisture in your um, charging port. So you wanna make sure you turn off the phone and uh, use a hair dryer and just get all the moisture out do not plug in your charging uh, cable to the phone while it, has, while it has moisture in here. And don't plug in your headphones while there's moisture in there. Most likely it'll cause further damage to your phone. All right, now this is for the earpiece, just to give you a heads up. Now let's go ahead and start the unclogging. All right, so I'm making a phone call right now. I have the speaker phone on, see? So now it's using a different speaker. You're, hey, you're on speakerphone. I'm just testing the audio on my um, my phone. So the, okay. the speakerphone uh, works. The audio output on the speakerphone works. When I take it off speakerphone, can you can you hear me? How about now? So the audio is really low on my phone. So we're gonna go ahead and unclog this speaker, hopefully. All right, so let's continue with the app and see if this actually works. Open it up, and we're gonna start the unclogging. What the heck? <laughs> it's vibrating like crazy. It's still vibrating. I guess the vibration is basically breaking apart the water droplets that are sit resting on the speaker, maybe. Whoa, what the heck? An is about to begin. The all right, all right, already. All right, so let's make a phone call. So the speaker phone is on. I'm gonna switch it after. Hey, I'm gonna test it one more time. I just uh, ran it through this app that supposedly unclogs your speaker, and I wanna see if the app works, so. Okay. okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it right now. Go ahead. Hello, hello, testing, hello. All right, that's good. So it is working, cool. So if this video helped you fix your audio issues on your phone after you dropped it in the water or used your phone in the water like I did, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want, if you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on this subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. If you wanna check out my other tutorials, check out this playlist right here.